Welcome everybody to the Slavic languages uh, live. Uh, as you see, actually I messed up my, my logo and I used the logo for Slavic languages hub. 
which uh, uh, is here because I streamed on that channel uh, last Saturday. So, oh no, it was last Sunday. So check it out if you're interested in Slavic languages. Uh, but today we cover all kinds of languages, Romance languages, Germanic languages, Slavic languages, and possibly more, because in this episode we're actually going to uh, focus a little bit on the uh, language guessing show that we, we've been experimenting with uh, for the past few weeks, and it worked out pretty, pretty well, so we're going to try to do this today, uh, but possibly something else as well. You know, let me just change it real quick so it's not uh, confusing you. Yes, this is the Ecolinguist live show. So, um, welcome everybody. Welcome uh, to all the regulars who watch the show every week. And also welcome to the new people that just joining in or um, watch. They're, they're watching the show first time live. Uh, that's great to see you. This is basically a show where we hang out and we improvise language challenges uh, and try to connect, uh, you know, online uh, and have some fun and spend nice time with languages, basically. So um, mm -mm, let me just have a quick look at what's going on, uh, going on in the chat. Um, yeah, lots of regulars. I'm so happy to see you guys. I'm enjoying our time times together on the on the live stream. Uh, I see Indigo Nature just be became a member. Thank you so much, Indigo. So uh, membership. If you don't know what a, a YouTube membership is, it's another way. It's one of the ways to support the the channel. So if you become a channel member, um, you can get some perks like you can see the unedited clips of the videos that I'm currently working on or, and, and stuff like that, behind the scenes stuff. Uh, there, there are already clips from some videos that haven't been published yet uh, and you can have a look, you can check it out if you are interested in, and if you would like to support the channel um, um, this way. So that's an option, just letting you know that that's, that's a possibility. Um, but you know, to join the show is free, so you don't have to worry about anything. Just one thing maybe, you actually have to register. So in the description box there is a link to register. Uh, it's a registration form, you need to fill it in to get in link with instructions on how to join me live. You know, uh, there are, if you have already registered or you participated in the show, uh, in the past, you don't really have you don't have to register again because you already have the link. So you just use the same link and it should work. But if if you're a new person that haven't participated yet, you have to fill it in to get instructions on how to uh, get through. Uh, so there is that. Um, oh, uh, I see. I see. There is another member that just joined. Thank you so much, uh, Grof, <laughs> Grof Volkoren. Grof Volkoren. Uh, nice to have you there. Mm. Great. So actually, today, what are we going to do today? Today, uh, I actually planned to do the guess the language uh, uh, game, uh, but I also see there is a, a new person calling that we, I haven't seen yet, uh, uh, and met yet. So maybe we, we're going to start with her and uh, two other participants that are calling in specifically for the guess the language game. We're going to wait uh, a little bit and we're just going to start with Janice. So Janice, you're going to join me right now. Hello. Hello. Hi, Janice. Uh, Janice, is that is that how I pronounce your name, Janice, uh, or is there a different pronunciation? The the normal pronunci pronunciation is Janice. Janice. But you can call me Janice. It's uh, an English. Jenny, Janice or Janice. Okay, that's that's great. So tell us uh, where are you calling from and what languages do you speak? Okay, uh, first, very nice to be here. I love your channel. 
and I learned a lot and uh, I surprised myself uh, hear, uh, hearing the other languages around the world. So I'm calling from Brazil, mm -hmm. uh, South Brazil. Uh, it's a very different uh, accent from the other, uh, from North and Brazil and, uh -huh. and from the big Brazil. And uh, I speak uh, Portuguese, it's my native language. I speak Spanish, uh, English, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm studying uh, French and Hebrew. French and Hebrew. That's great. That's great. So uh, you're quite a polyglot. And uh, do you do anything uh, else with languages? Maybe are you interested in languages from other language families, potentially? Um, um, I'm just uh, interested to learn uh, another language because I love travel. And my plan is to travel, travel around the world, the world. So uh, as much as can uh, as I can learn better. Have you traveled a lot? Actually, uh, what countries have you visited? Uh, countries uh, just in, in in America, Latin America, mm -hmm. and Uruguay, Argentina, and that's it. <laughs> and but uh, I traveled. Uh, uh, at all Brazil. Mm -hmm. All over Brazil. I mean, Brazil is a massive country. There is so many different regions to explore, <laughs> definitely. Uh, okay, so I, I was just asking because, you know, uh, in, on the show, we try to improvise different language challenges. And uh, today I was thinking about uh, Guess the Language show. I don't know if you're familiar with that format. Uh, yes. Have you seen that that show? So maybe if you are interested, we could we could improvise something like that. Or actually... We could also do the, the typical uh, ecolinguist format with mutual intelligibility. So which would you prefer? Because actually I have a caller uh, that speaks um, a, a Venetian language. So maybe maybe we could improvise a show with him. OK, uh, it's um, I like I like both uh, mm -hmm. any any form that we can we can do today i'll be happy to particip participate okay that that's good then uh so so what we're we going to do i think we're going to start with the 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 more familiar format the mutual intelligibility just because i think it's a unique opportunity to to do it with a brazilian portuguese speaker and and venetian uh, language so let me just um, add jean luca uh, okay, let me see. Oops, yeah, one second. Jean-Luc, are you going to join us now? Hopefully everything is going to work out. Hello, hello. Ciao, ciao. ciao. Hi, Hi Gianluca. Luca. Uh, tell, tell us, uh, tell everybody, uh, where are you calling from and what languages do you speak? Yeah, uh, I'm calling from Athens, uh, where I live, and um, I speak Italian, Venetian, both of them. I've been growing up with them. And uh, then I've been living for 10 years in Vienna, so I speak uh, German. And uh, Greek would be my third language that I speak, like, in my uh, everyday life so and um, in the school i had french and spanish so i have a basis of romance pretty much and mm -hmm. then in the university i did a lot of germanic like i was making scandinavian studies but i don't know mainland scandinavian like i can understand good i think swedish and kind of talking that or swedish norwegian danish some kind of mix and then i majored in icelandic and dutch I you majored in Icelandic? <laughs> yes, but it was like almost 10 years ago. So at some point, Icelandic and then Estonian, I took both of them. I was in both of countries for small, small mm -hmm. periods. Mm -hmm. So I used to understand them very well and kind of talk and read. But now, now they're like gone. And, uh, yeah. okay. and Slavic, uh -huh. I really like Slavic languages, but I speak only I'm trying to get my way through Croatia, so and uh, that's okay. it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, great, Gianluca. So, so it sounds like you, uh, you, you've been exposed to m all kinds of languages from different language families, which is great. 
Uh, and you know, for, for later, I was thinking about the the guess the language uh, game, and we're probably going to play it. But uh, this is an opportunity to also do the mutual intelligibility between Portuguese and Venetian, because it, I think it would be very interesting to see. Uh, uh, Janice, uh, what what's your experience with Venetian? Have you ever been to that part of Italy or? Uh, to be honest, I I, I didn't know that uh, that that was. Venetian language. <laughs> yeah, it's called in the. Uh, it has some different names, right? Uh, uh, Gianluca, like some people call it. Um... Veneto. It, it depends. Like Venetian is from Venice proper, like uh, oh. Veneziano, Venetian. Uh -huh. And otherwise, there is. <laughs> otherwise, there is Even. Veneto, uh, which no. is also the one that, like, there is um, in Brazil. I know that there is. Um, um, a language called Italian, like it's basically a variety of Veneto, and they made it um, official there because Brazil is like the most of people migra migrating from Italy during the late 20th, uh, 19th century, they were coming from Veneto region. Uh -huh. And uh, I, yeah, and uh, so I also got to know one time a person talking like. Uh, Italian, but very like Venetian influence from Brazil, from Sao Paulo, and um, yes. Yes, so so Veneto could also be known as Italian in in Brazil. Uh, also, the Italian, Tr Trentin, Trentino dialect is also a, 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 a part of the Venetian language, right? Exactly. It's a it's a dialect of the Venetian language. Exactly, and it is also spoken in uh, Trieste, which is like there are some varieties that are like because of the expansion of um, the Venetian Republic. So, um, yeah, it's there are, there are a lot of varieties yes, in the northeast of Italy. Yes, yes. So I think that we could, what we could do um, is maybe, uh, Gianluca, you could uh, prepare a description of a word for uh, Janice and see if she can understand uh, uh, Venetian, okay? okay. <laughs> Does that sound right? Do, do you need any help with picking the word? Um, or you already have some uh, ideas? I could start with something very easy and then let's see how it's going. Okay, um, so, so we, can, we can do multiple challenges, maybe uh, two or three words, you know. So that's good. So, uh, uh, Janice, are you ready? Or do you need some time to... Sorry, uh, maybe maybe if you have any trouble hearing us, maybe you have to mute mute the the live stream that you have open in a different I'll just browser. will try to improve my internet connection. Okay, okay. So you can also just just uh, call us back if you need to disconnect. Closing this. Okay, I think. It's better now. Okay, that's good then. So I think, uh, Gianluca, if you're ready, we can start with the first word. Yes, yes. I also think I will use one word that is, for some reason, it's also in Portuguese the same. So, but that, the pronunciation is different. I won't be saying it. So. Yes. So, so just to remind everybody the rules of the game, uh, Gianluca is going to be describing the word without mentioning the word. So. Uh, you, uh, Jani, Janice, you just re respond in Portuguese and uh, try to identify the concept that he's describing. So, um, and if you have trouble at the end, if you're presenting the, 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 the solution and if you're not sure if it, it, it's correct, you can use English just to make sure that this is the word that uh, is right. But, but uh, Gianluca, you already know. Uh, and you, you will know if it's a correct answer or not. So, that's good. Great. So... <laughs> Let's start. Bon, e ora ehm, parliamo di un oggetto che si usa in cucina. E se te me capisci? Riesci a capirmi? Sì, no? Sì? Ti me senti? Sim, é um objeto que usa na cozinha. Sim. Tem um cabo. É um cabo. 
Um cabo? É uma não, não, concha? Não. É, é zenaroba que te use para beber. É uma que usa para beber, é um canudo. Sim, sí, um canudo, não capisco o que é. Como... Se... Mm. No, no, no se quea, no se quea, no se una canuza, se, se ah. arroba nel qual te ga la canuza dentro. Se arroba nel qual te ga la canuza, se arroba... Mm. E ora, te ti, te, te, ti se drio bevar da una arroba simile all'oggetto che, so, che digo mi. Uh, se... Pode repetir essa parte? Como é? <risos> uh, can you repeat, the, please, the last phrase? Ok. Uh, se é uma roupa, se é um objeto, bom, simile ao objeto que ti, si, ti si drio bevar em questo momento. Come si chiama l'oggetto che ti si drio bevare? Ah, un copo. Penso di sì. E ora, solitamente, questo oggetto è piccenin. Piccenin, no grande, è piccenin. Brava, cicara. La cicara. No, no. <laughs> You got this, <laughs> you got this, uh, Janice. So, so, uh, how was it, Janice? Like, uh, was it easy to understand for you? Yes, um, I, I don't know uh, how exac exactly, I, I never, it sounds very much like Italian for, for, for me. And uh, the very first times that I heard Italian, I, it sounded like uh, like he, like understanding, like uh, easy, easy listening. Mm -hmm. And for me, the, this uh, the Venetian is also an easy listening. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sounded easy listening. And uh, a lot of, of words uh, are are similar. For, same same root in in english in portuguese <laughs> yeah 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 and actually even the, the word that you picked uh Gianluca, is is basically the same right it's a loan word from portuguese you, exactly. you say? i think no i think it's uh, there is there should be kikara or kikara in um, in toscano in uh, in italian uh, so i think it's a word that like it happened to get like thrown out of like standard Italian or standard Spanish, for example, but Portuguese and Venetian in this case, they, they still uh, have it like Chicara. Chicara is uh, the, the small cups where you usually drink coffee. Like mm -hmm. it's not Tassa or it's Tassa would be in Italian more big mm -hmm. and so on. But for the, like the small one okay. of grandma coming to you, give you this as a Chicara. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. um, and also talking about this is uh, called what the the big ones tasa is called caneca ah oh, it's different totally mm -hmm. um, um, yes yeah, so actually Gianluca you can have a look at uh, the comment section uh, on the right hand si side you can see how people uh, responded. Uh, we have um copo. Uh, Katyusha, she she suggested chavena copo or something like that. I'm not sure if you if you if you get this a mug. Would that translate as a mug in English or it's no not... no? It's like the very small one, like the ones that for espresso that you have in uh, uh, that they give you in Italy, like the very very small one, like maybe the smallest a, a, a cup, maybe a, a cup or. Uh, what about bicchiere? Uh, I think it's no. Italian. That would be a glass. That would be a and glass. Somebody is, mm. is writing in Italian kikera, which mm -hmm. I 
I, I mean, I know, so, some words, I don't even know them. Like, if it's proper Italian or if it is Venetianized Italian, because Venetian and Toscan, Venetian is one of the most close languages to, to Toscan, and they had a lot of influx, uh, influence. So it's, this is also the reason, because it's really very easy to understand, usually, from other people, uh, even if they, like, it's one of the easiest uh, to understand region, regional languages. Um, if you know Italian or can understand it, Toscan. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so. mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So, so uh, Roba is clothes. Actually, this is also a very common question. Uh, Roba actually means a thing, right? It's a thing. Exactly, exactly. Uh, yes. Which is from Germanic, if I'm, don't, if I'm not wrong. Like Rauben in German means to, well, to rob in English. So mm -hmm. the other word in Italian for cosa, cosa is from Latin causa, but roba is like the thing when you're robbing, when you're pillaging. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. So uh, it's interesting connection, really, like rob, you know, to rob someone of, 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 of things and, and stuff. So that's, that's great. So uh, what we could do next because uh, Janice, I think you might have some some internet issues, but I think so. Maybe the guess the language game it wouldn't be the best idea because we're going to run it for quite a long time, you know, maybe uh, forty minutes or something. Because we're probably gonna do ten languages or something like that. But we could do one one more uh, 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 word guessing, okay? So y you're going to have a chance to to listen to Venetian language again. And and then okay. we're going to move on to to a different challenge. But that I think we we still could do one more. So just Gianluca, the word that you picked, I think it's a little bit a cheat word because it's a very specific thing culturally. Because yes. what you're trying to explain, it's not a, a typical teapot, a teacup, you know. Sure. It's it's specifically for espresso, and not in every cu culture people you know have the terminology for this kind of thing yes, yes, yes. so well Brazil, Brazilian Portuguese happen to have one but maybe for the next word try to think of something more universal mm. easier to guess okay good and you uh, Janice you can ask Kali f uh, uh, him to repeat things or like you can ask clarifying questions you know if you need to uh, also in Portuguese Good. So, Gianluca, do you have the, okay, the word ready? Okay, let's go. Okay. Um, provemo con questo. Eh, è un animal eh, notturno. Eh, è un animal che svoia. Mm -hmm, è un animal notturno. Sì. Eh, un animal che voa. Sì, esattamente. Eh, no il gapiume no il gapiume però un è il gapiume un lugar molto no no è sto animal Gio no il gapiume no no è un oseo No, no é. alfago, ouvi. Pode ser. Oui. Morcego? É, não só coisa se é morcego, pode ser... Sim, sí, exato. Ai. <laughs> ok, so, just to clarify, uh, what was your answer, uh, Janice? What was your answer in português? Morcego? Ah, internet. Uh -huh. Okay, so, so uh, Gianluca, what was the correct answer? Not, uh, we say in Venetian, it's the bat. And uh, it's, I heard morciego in Brazilian. Uh -huh. Morcielago, I see in the comments, is in Spanish. Yes. So. Uh, pipistrello, that's, I think it's Italian. Exactly, exactly. Istlum in Welsh. Um, 
That's Most the emoji language, the emoji language. Exactly. <laughs> uh, Murcielago, mm -hmm. Laura. I, I really like this language because uh, this word because it's similar in um, there is also in other regional varieties of uh, um, languages in Italy. It's similar though in Greek, the same. It's coming mm. from uh, note, night, in mm -hmm. Greek nichta, and in Greek is nichteriva. So mm -hmm. notola is like the night uh, animal. Aha. Uh -huh. Nichteriva. Aha. Uh -huh. oh. Nichteriva. Very in different. Greek. Yes, hmm? that's very different, very different. So actually, Katyusha has a, a very good uh, question, like, because uh, for a moment she thought about an owl, but it wasn't an owl. So what kind of gave it away for you, Janice? When did you decide that it wasn't an owl? Or, or, did you, or, or you just knew from the beginning that it was a bat? No, I just uh, I, I understand. Um... The, the first and second phrase I to to totally understand. Mm -hmm. And the last one, uh, he was talking that he lives in a, in a place that is a lot. And the last word I didn't, didn't get. So I was thinking, oh, uh, maybe a, 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 how do you say, a cavern. I don't know what's the, the word. Um, so, oh, a cavern uh, or um, a very dark place. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So this is a place of uh, that uh, where where a bat lives. So I uh, was my first my first guess. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, I see, I see. Uh, meanwhile, people uh, oh, uh, <laughs> people uh, said yeah, I said more. Actually, Wait, people sent more answers, like okay, in Faroese, no, it's internet. Flogmus. Cave, cave. Yes, thank you, Laura. Yeah, in Polish, it's Nietopes. Nietopes. Uh, Atalef in Hebrew. Mm. Uh, Slepy Mish in Serbian, which means like a, a blind mouse for, for some reason. Uh. I think so. I think that's that's how I, I read it as a Slavic language speaker. Uh, in Finnish, lepako. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. those just like fun facts of the day. Uh, multiple words, uh, uh, a, a word, uh, bad in multiple languages. Good. So uh, what we can do now uh, is say thank you to Janice. <laughs> uh, thank you for... for uh, calling but unfortunately the the connection was was lost uh well we can just maybe add her real quick yes janice oh janice yes okay. so so i think we, we, we finished this section uh of the challenge so janice thank you so much for calling in uh it's been fun and now we're going to move on to another challenge so um Maybe uh, next time you can call again uh, uh, when you have better internet connection and, and stay longer with us. But that's all for today. So thank you so much, Janice. Okay, thank you. Obrigado. Bye, guys. Bye, bye. Ciao. Uh, and let me just quickly rearrange some things. Um... So, uh, Jean-Luca, just wait in the green room for a little bit, okay? And I'm going to... Uh, oh, okay. Uh, let's add a new person. Um... Danny, you're going to join us right now. Hello, Danny. <laughs> hello, hello. Oh, I can't hear you for Sorry, some reason. Ah, yeah, maybe you were muted. Yeah, Danny, welcome back to the show. Uh, so, Thank Danny, you. just just so you can remind everybody where you're calling from and what languages do you speak. 
Sounds good. Uh, I am calling from. Sorry, one sec. Some somebody called me. Um, I am calling from New York City. I am uh, sort of a polyglot. I speak thirteen languages. Uh, well, I would say, and then I speak bits and bytes of others. And like the geographic range of what I speak is mostly European languages and East Asian languages. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. But I've you know dabbled in some other ones as well. Um, and I'm a linguist of sorts. So. Okay. Yeah. So so I think you would be a good fit for the guess the language game potentially right how do you feel yeah. about it <laughs> is that okay a lot uh, of pressure from me. i feel like i uh you know want to do really well but you know we'll see yes yes so um that's great we, we have one more uh, person that is going to join us so, so uh just w- wait a second okay um in the green room and i'm going to add mm, 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 mm. Second, it's all happening live, so uh, forgive me this uh, technical uh, delays, but that's how it is. Um, yeah, so here is another participant of the guest uh, guest the language game. <laughs> welcome back, uh, welcome back, hi, to hi. Ruben. Just remind everybody where you're calling from and what languages do you speak. Uh, yeah. Uh, I am from Holland, uh, which is a very, very small country, but it's famous. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then I speak Dutch, uh, English, French, and German. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And those are, uh, sorry for the sound in the back, it will go. Uh, those are the four languages I speak. Great, great. And you, today you want to uh, challenge yourself in the guess the language. <laughs> Uh, game, right? Yeah, I don't speak 13 languages like my friend here who I've been in uh, another live stream also with. But uh, yeah, I consider that like Spanish, Italian are like uh, 30%. So let's say I speak six, five languages, whatever. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, you know, uh, so uh, it's this, this game is not going to be about um, uh knowing all those languages it's about yeah, rec- yeah. recognizing and identifying languages so so we will have to figure out how to uh actually do this uh but let me just um i love that game i'm very very happy that i can join you so you've seen the the episodes that are already available on, on my channel i did some yeah. in the past uh, i guess the language show um that's great let me just fix this real quick. Um, Sorry, there might, you might hear the coffee machine. I'll mute myself for a second. Okay. Um, Hello, Danny and Ruben. Hello, Sacha. Here we are. Yes, all of us are uh, on the screen now. That's that's great. Uh, so you guys. Kalispera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. can you guys hear each other yes 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 so welcome to the I guess the language game uh so we are going to have i think up to 10 languages today to, you, you you will try to uh, identify and whoever oh. ge- gets the, the the most points is going to get the the cap of satisfaction that is and the, the applause and the, applause. and the applause, of course. Yeah, that's what you're fighting for. <laughs> okay. But not yet. Uh, yes, so I think 10 languages would be great uh, because we have three participants. So, so it's kind of, it makes sense to, uh, to have more languages. However, um, because you guys are polyglots and you, you, you speak so many languages, it's very likely that at some point you are going to hear a language that you're very familiar with or you studied in the past. So it would be kind of unfair to other participants, you know. So uh, what we could do is that you're just not going to answer. Uh, you're just going to let other people guess. You just not. You just you know keep your poker face on. <laughs> don't don't say anything. And then we're just going to discard that point. So whoever gets that uh, that right, we're not going to count it towards the, the final score. That's the idea. So if, if it happens to be your native language or language that you're, uh, yeah. you know, advanced in, we're not going to count this as as um, as point. Uh, so there is that. 
Uh, and there I'm we... from there, but I'm okay. Sorry. So what we're going to what we are going to use in this system, you know, is a buzzing buzzing system. So I'm ju I've just sent you a, a, an in instruction on how to join the buzzing system. <laughs> Uh, you will be oh, yeah. able to buzz in, basically. Mm. Yeah, from side, hold on. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so once you're ready, you can just test it, maybe. You send it by email, right? Uh, no, I just sent it in the chat, the interview chat. The guest chat, okay, okay. I have yeah. it, I have it. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I need a piece of paper to keep score of the points. Oh, I have to go to this thing. Yeah, so actually you can use the buzzer on a, a different device, for example, and just use, use a, you could use a space bar just to, to buzz in, potentially. Mm -hmm. uh, that's possible. Um, okay, Jean-Luca, you just buzzed in. So don't answer until you see this yellow square uh, yellow frame, okay, up here, um, basically. That's okay. me. Ruben, <laughs> you did this, that's good. Yeah. Four, and five, let's wait eight. for... By the way, did you hear that buzzing sound? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Every, everything is perfect. Yep. Should I try? Yes, that worked. Yes. So you see, guys, uh, you will uh, just have to buzz in and wait for me to to uh, to call you uh, uh, out. Okay. Okay. Uh, just to keep everything in order. Mm. Uh, this is it. Let me. So, what level would you like to start with? We have uh, uh, easy, medium, or hard. Mm, I guess the guy in the middle. Uh, sorry, your name I don't remember. Tell me again. Yeah, Danny. You could. Yeah, Danny. Uh, Danny, you could do medium, but I guess for me it's better to start easy. To be honest. Mm. <laughs> because we won't be able to change uh, change it later. So maybe we could start with medium and see how it yeah. goes yeah i think uh, you're right and ruben right. ruben come on you can challenge yourself <laughs> I, I always underestimate myself that's my problem. yes don't underestimate yourself absolutely <laughs> uh so that's what we're going to do we're going to go with medium i think and if it's going to be too easy we, we, we can always change uh change over by the way could you try okay. to buzz in again yeah but oh it says i already buzzed Okay, that means that I have to clear oh, the buzzers. Yeah. That's fine. I That's, don't 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 do that. Uh, no. No. Yes. However, actually, there is actually something happening right now because there is a person calling in. I'm not sure if it's going to to work out or not, but there is a person calling in um, that doesn't speak any of the uh, 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 the languages that we cover on the channel. So maybe it could be a good idea to maybe just. Talk to that person and try to identify their language. Oh, wow. Potentially, you know. Uh, I just don't know if it's going to work, uh, but I'm going to add. Thank you, uh, Anil. Yeah. Okay, I hope, I hope that person understands, uh, is watching us right now. Um, okay. So, um, I, I just added you. Okay, I don't know if you can, you can hear me. Let me just maybe switch to, to this this uh, screen now. So I'm not going to add you uh, add your face yet because we are playing the guess the language game, okay? Uh, and I thought that maybe uh, maybe uh, we could you could present your language. You could just start speaking in your language to the participants. Don't don't say anything in English. Just try to like say something. Um, generic in your language and we will see if they're going to be able to identify where you're from and what language you speak. Just nod if that's okay with you because I can see your, your, your face. Hello? Yes? Okay, let me, or maybe uh, let me add uh, because I can hear your, I cannot hear your voice. Maybe now. Oh, 
Now, could you say something? Oh yes. Uh, okay. Now, so it, it said that I wasn't on the air, on air, so I didn't respond. Yes. Yeah. So, sorry about that. Uh, so, wait, did you hear uh, what I said? Did you hear what I said? But uh, I can't hear you because wait, I need to open the YouTube broadcast. I think because I can't hear you right now. Uh, yeah. Okay. Wait. 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 That's going to create echo. That's yeah. going to create echo. <laughs> uh, so, can you hear me now or not? The... No, 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 no. I mean, not in in this in the guest cam. Can I? I can't hear you there. I need to open a separate window for YouTube. Uh -huh. that was okay. Was so, so. Um... So you know what? I'm going to contact you after the show, okay? I'm going to contact you after the show so we can like sort out the technical issues, okay? Uh, because we, we are about to start a, a challenge with uh, identifying languages, okay? And uh, okay, that's that's what we're gonna do. So I'm going to contact you after the show. Um, okay, I tried. Um, Unfortunately, it didn't work out, but uh, it's happening live, so it, it was worth a shot. Uh, I'm just trying to... Mystery guess. The mystery person uh, uh, couldn't participate because we had some technical issues, but no problem. I think uh, we can just start the game then um, and see how it's going to go. Um, so if if you guys are ready, I'm going to to play the first sample. And by the way, the moment I I start the sample, you are, you can buzz in, okay? So that okay. that kind of uh, uh, gives you priority to answer. Okay, that was quick. Uh, Ruben was first. Um, that's to me. That's Hindi. Am I correct? No, it's ah. not. It's not correct. So, so now if, no, I'm if, kidding. Sorry. <laughs> we're going to listen to it one more time. But so you, yeah. you, uh, Ruben, you don't buzz in uh, anymore. Okay. No, no, no. I, I stop. I stop. Uh, you just. Uh, I buzzed at the same time or most. But uh, now it's not green anymore. I, I mean the 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 buzzer system. It just shows me that no, Ruben was after. first. So I you, you, was were, first. <laughs> you were a split of second uh, too late. Um, the Netherlands is always first. <laughs> okay. okay, Ruben. I was first. Uh, I was first. Uh, let's, let's listen to it again. Jean-Luc. Yeah, I will go for Bangla. So Bengalese. No. It's not. So now uh, Danny can, can answer. Do you want to listen to, to the sample again or? Do I get to listen to it uh, like and still get to guess first? Yes. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Mm -hmm. OK, so let's listen to it again. Gomnatin jara katina taka shenera milian debu hudu do min au karna wind alibay suk aro il miyak asa sheng etere chikin shekaru takwas. Andaw kina wind alibay musammang apanning ki miya da pasaha. Deke bankwana da dalibai yayin rarraba musu tikitin jira ginsu gwamnatin ji harkatsi na wadda mataimakin sa barista Abdullahi ah. Faskariya wakilta ya yi kira ga daliban su yi amfani da wannan dama da Allah ya ba su wajen yin karatu tukuru kuma su zame jakadun kwarai ba ga iyaye da ji harkatsi daya da katsina ga rahoto da Zaharuddin Sani Huntuwa ya aiko mana That was a long <laughs> sample yeah <laughs> did it help Yeah I have um this is we're in medium, right? Um, I'm gonna guess Amerinya, which is the language of Ethiopia. No, it's not the the right one. So um, previously we were uh, when when nobody guessed it, I used to just read three options um, to you, and you could just buzz in and. And, and score your points, but I think that we're not going to do, do it this time, okay? We're just going to uh, 
move on to the next language. But this one was uh, Hausa, the language Hausa. So wow. nobody gets any points. It's the, <laughs> I was the closest. Close? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I knew it was an were. African language in the Islamic uh, kind of sphere of the world or uh, Yes, so so you are the closest. Yes, but uh, no point this time. Okay, uh, but no worries. Is it close to Ethiopia? This language? They're in the same broad language family called Afroasiatic, but within this family they're quite different because Ethiopian is actually a Semitic language, so it's actually really close to like modern Arabic and Hebrew, whereas Hausa is much more distant, but it's still in the same family. Then how did you hear the difference? I didn't. That's why I, I don't know I, you, one you, too well, but I knew it's one of those. So yes, yes. So <laughs> you're okay. you're close, but okay. Let's uh, take another chance then. So let me just clear the buzzers so they're ready to uh, to be buzzed in. Let's listen. Kaviar Gordner, Nerga Ismia, and Hinksha Padun in Voroshelu, Tevor Meku Saksuna Lava Queen of the Regavara Yergira, had short director in Eruntatskin. Andra Baikara bi digetronana Dondesutyan yev Abastan Pandronera yev Nauru Ugargelu Hartserun Shurch. Askeselov Andra Baikara Varchabede Gochovets vor Dondesutyuna Tarna Andra Baikari getrona kan Hartse. Baron Rada Savor nashana Panere bi dicheludzen khantidnera yev Savor Avsalyojo vorta Ajan bi divoroshe Teov Gorna Ludzel Mets Hartsere. Kaviar Gordner Jean Luca you were first. Uh, I want to say one language now and confused about the last word that I heard. I, I will go for Armenian, but I don't think it is. Correct. That's Armenian. Ah, I wanted to say Armenian. Yeah. Fuck. I feel so. I, 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 I was having too much doubt because of chat. <laughs> Oh, don't look at the chat. Come on. I know. I know. I know. I was like, I, the first second I was like, this is Armenia because I follow Armenia every every day because of the junior Eurovision. I was like, this is Armenia. And then I was like, but what if it's Georgian? So I started to have doubts. I don't look at the chat. I don't look at the mm -hmm. chat. Mm -hmm. da uh, Danny, you didn't uh, buzz in. So you had like completely no idea about this one. I had. I knew it was something. I actually thought it was more Central Asian. like, mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I... Wouldn't have guessed Armenian first. I probably would have guessed like Uzbek or something. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. That's good. So first point to uh, Jean-Luca. Uh, but don't worry, we have more languages. So let's listen to the third language. I felt that Okay. This time, Ruben was first. Yeah, I was like, this time I do it uh, quickly. So I hear a lot of... So it's like either Indonesian or Thai. So I will go with um, Indonesian. Unfortunately, I, I, I. it's not Indonesian. <laughs> so um, you guys have, have a chance now. So Ruben, you, you don't buzz in, okay? I mm feel -hmm. mm. mm. It's Thai. Final answer. Yeah. Danny, yes, yes, correct. <laughs> this is Thai. This is Thai. Yeah. So, you got the point. Uh, Ruben, you were because so you close. Because you had so many Indonesian. You, you had so many Indonesian in your last games that I was like, okay, he's fooling me. This is not Thai. This is too easy to be Thai. And that's why I guess it is. <laughs> yeah, you were very close. But yeah, Danny, so what gave it away to you? Uh, I speak Vietnamese. Um, so I knew right away it was not a non-Vietnamese language that sounds like Vietnamese, which is either Thai or Lao or Khmer or something. Mm -hmm. But I just listened enough and I like was 100% sure there's some words that I recognized. Great, great. That, I that's know it good. from the the movie The Hangover also, which uh, you have that uh, funny uh, uh, actor, and uh, he explained in some interviews that like his brother was from Thailand, and that's how he came up with that accent. It's like Min Thang, 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 and and it's really like a funny kind of accent. So that's why now I just recognize it. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's, just tonal, it's just a tonal. It's just a tonal language, Ruben. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah, a tonal language. Sorry, that's the word I was. Thinking. 
Yeah. Good. So uh, let's move on to the language number four. Uh, let me just clear the buzzer so you can buzz in. При упражняването на своите права и свободи е подчинен само на такива ограничения, установени с закон, изключен. Okay, this time Ruben was first. Uh, Russian? No. No, it wasn't Russian. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna guess less fast Let, next time. Okay. Uh, yeah, so now just uh, Jean-Luca and Danny, you, you, you get another chance to listen to it. При упражняването на своите права и свободи е подчинен само на такива ограничения, установени с закон, изключително с цел да се осигури необходимото признаване и зачитане правата и свободите на другите и за удовлетворяване на справедливост. Окей. Жендука, your turn. Yes, Danny, would you have guessed that? No, my problem is because I do speak Slavic languages. If it's one of the two I don't know, it's very hard for me to identify what it is. So I like have to spend a lot of time thinking carefully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's uh, what about you, uh, uh, Jean-Luc? Like, what gave it away to you? That there are a lot of u. Like I heard something like svobod, uh, like free, like sloboda. And uh, I know that Bulgarian is Bulgarian kind of sounds like Russian, like of a lot of palatalization and a lot of mm-hmm. ooh, like everything is ooh in Bulgarian. And at some point, like when I already buzzed, I heard like the article after the like this te, mm. like is the um, article in fixed after the word. And yeah, I mm-hmm. really, mm-hmm. I'm really cool. Slavic. No, I should have thought about. I should have thought about the the article. <laughs> yeah, Bulgarian. I think in Macedonian they're uh, uh, the only uh, Slavic languages with articles. Yeah, uh, but Macedonian is totally like it's total. It's really hard, and it has a fixed accent. Like it sounds more like uh, Serbo-Croatian. Mm-hmm. So um, I mean, you can hear better the the difference, like in the phonetics. Uh, The mm-hmm. accent is going up and down in Bulgarian, like in like in Russian and, and Ukrainian. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. Okay, But that's yeah, great. Articles. Articles. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, Slavic uh, language speakers they struggle a lot with with articles when they speak English or other languages. Yeah, it's strange. Bulgarian has them. We do perfectly fine without them in Russian and Polish. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it, it, I mean, I guess it's all implied in in a way, but it's just you know, sometimes it's, it's difficult to use it uh, uh, in a second language. But, anyways, we can move on to the next one. Uh, let me clear the buzzer. Make sure that's working. Mm. Okay. Uh, let's listen to this one. La comunidad de colombianos en Sydney están organizando una despedida para Javier, quien dejó huellas de admiración en quienes lo conocían. Who is that? Jean-Luc? Uh, Was uh, that? Castellano, Spanish? Yes. <laughs> yes, however, <laughs> however I think that uh, that would be too easy, right? To 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 uh, Add it uh, to the, yeah, the, 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 the points. <laughs> I'm also, I couldn't answer. I'm a native speaker. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, but obviously, like, so what we want to do in a situation like that, if you speak that language or you studied it, you know, you just don't buzz in and let someone else buzz in who maybe haven't studied it. But Spanish is such an obvious language, obviously. <laughs> for, for anyone watching uh, uh, Ecolinguist videos, it, it would be too too easy but but that's fine that's fine you know um uh i'm not going to sc- to uh, add it to the final score but well done Gianluca. <laughs> you got <laughs> spanish um so let's move to something hopefully more difficult this time okay oh you got you got two two dollars from wolf super chat um oh thank you for keeping track where Yes. Okay. Thank you, Wolf. 
Thank you all for the super chat. Um, <laughs> uh, that's great. So, if you are if you guys are ready, let's listen to this. Ikvienam ir tiesības piedalīties savas valsts pārvaldē tieši, vai ar brīvi izvēlētu pārstāvju starpniecību. Ikvienam ir tiesības uz līdztiesīgu pieejamību valsts dienestam savā zemē. Mm, let's see. Okay. Uh, Jean-Luc, you are first. Uh, Latvia. Um, correct. This is Latvia. <laughs> oh, wow. Yes, so you just got another point. So, uh, what gave it away to you, um, Jean-Luca? Latvian is very particular. Like, I can... I, I, I hear it right away. It's it's a Baltic language, and Lithuanian sounds already pretty much different. It does... I mean, it's... I don't know. It's Latvian is Latvian. It's like you hear this accent at the beginning all the time, and it has S and long, long vowels. It's, it's very mm -hmm. particular language. What about you, Danny? Would you have a guess? Because actually, you, you were the second. Uh, yeah, I was 50 50 on that or Lithuanian. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, and Ruben, what about you? Well, I thought Estonian, but I, I was not sure. No, I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know. I was just hearing ik, ik. So I thought, like in Dutch, maybe it means ik. It's the same, maybe. And then mm -hmm. after, I was just like lost. I just. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, great. So, I think we can move on to the language number seven. Referendum od najprvin beše predložen na početok od ova godina, koga beše na čelo na državata. Predlog zakona za održuvanje na referendum. Žanuka, again, you were first. Macedonian. That is correct. Oh, wow. Yeah, but he's living close to those countries. Not fair. Uh, but you haven't studied that, Gianluca, right? Yeah. No, like, I like Slavic languages, so I'm I, looking at them like, no, the only one that I've been studying is Croatian, Serb like Serbian, Croatian, Bosnian, like, you know, and, and I had Russian in the school a little bit. So, mm -hmm. and I heard the Državata, so what that gave it away. Because it was like it's a, at the very beginning it was like okay this is totally Croatian so I won't buzz in because mm -hmm. I kind of know it better but then you hear again this ta the article at the end so it's like okay Macedonian ta mm -hmm. ta ta okay and that's the difference between uh, Bulgarian and Macedonian is big or small very small I I mean I mean it's relative right it's kind of uh, Depending, <laughs> um, yeah. you know what languages you compare uh, it like, to. Is it like Estonian and Finnish? Like... This kind of yeah. No, that's a fair comparison. Like Afrikaans and Dutch, or maybe okay. a Frisian and like West Frisian and Dutch. Mm, I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe. Um, yeah. So that's interesting. We we got another one uh, here. So you guys, I guess you have to be faster with buzzing in. Yeah, uh, yeah. Danny, you were second again. You were second. Yeah, I, second. I buzzed, I think, almost at the same time. And I knew it was Macedonian. And I had the exact same process. I was like, this is Serbian. And then I heard the article, Terzavata, and I said, okay, yeah, this is Macedonian. <laughs> yes. Uh, good, good. Uh, uh, I got another super chat from... Uh, oh. Ramonko, so thank you so much. I think it's, it's a super sticker. So for some reason, super stickers don't show up uh, in this system. I have to work on it because. Um, but thank you for a pair character, <laughs> super sticker. Great. Uh, yeah, I, I wish I could see it, but but with this software, it just doesn't doesn't show. Just give an applause. Why? <laughs> for the pair, yes. Yes. Good. So. So, uh, I'm going to clear the buzzers. Let me just count the, the languages. One, two, three, four, five. My buzzer is still green because I didn't press for like four times. So, it's, it's just been green. <laughs> yes. So, you guys, um, we had seven languages. Uh, Which so, were huh? all super interesting. Yeah. Yes. So, let's listen to another one. Uh, it's clear. Okay, Mescal. 
ያየር ድብደባ ዘመቻ ላፍታም ጋብ ባላልበት በየመን የመጀመሪያውን አስቸኳይ የመዳኒት ርዳታ ማድረስን አስተውቋል ሩበን ኢንዶኔዢያ um no it's not indonesian but thanks for trying thanks for trying um so you guys can try uh again okay i'm just going to play it qay mesqal ya yir dibdeba zemecha laftam gab balalibet beyemen yemejemeryawun aschekwa yemedanit irdata madrasun astawqal ከመቶ ሲሳ ኩንታ በላይ የመዳኒት ርዳታ የጫኖ ካርጎ አውሮፕላን በዛይሮ ለት ያደረፈው ዋና ከተማ ዳኒ ኢት ዋስ ዩ ዩ ወር ፍርስት አይ ቲንክ ኢትስ አ ካይንድ ኦፍ አረቢክ ኢዝ ዳት ዩ ፋይናል አንሰር አም አይ ሚን ዘር ኢንፍ አረቢክ ዎርድስ አም ኦኬ ዌል ኢትስ ዩ ኢምፕላይንግ ኢትስ ኖት Let's try it. It's not I'm not specific in specific enough. Yeah, yeah, yes. Well, I have to be a specific kind of Arabic, I have to say. Or or what you just said? Uh uh Amharic is Ethiopian. Let's try that. Correct. <laughs> mm. Good. You see so that worked. So so yes, that that what I I needed that's more specific answer, you know. Uh, uh Ethiopian is weird. Like it should be not even in Africa. That's like Okay, well. Interesting. Language wise, I mean, um Yeah, I find it's very different than all the other African uh languages. I mean, Arabic is spoken all over Northern Africa and you have other uh, yeah, Africa, yeah. Of course, yeah, you're right. I'm stupid. Sorry. But <laughs> you know, uh, thinking like that like Hungarian wouldn't or Basque wouldn't wouldn't, you know, <laughs> fit yeah, in true. Europe because because they're true. so unique. But, you know, it's it's mystery you know languages uh we don't know everything about their evolution mm. yet i even uh, understood some of that which is really funny <laughs> oh, you did, yeah so you, you because you st- you studied uh, arabic you said or yeah it's yeah, not yeah. one of the 13 that i know well but i've studied and uh, let's say i studied it so there are a few words i even understood in this is, mm-hmm. good it was about so, studying was and... ah okay about what sorry about they said like yadrusuna i think they said like study they study or something like this mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah mm-hmm. yeah there was like i don't know if you have a translation like, oh, <laughs> i don't i don't have the translation no yeah so by the way to all watching like we have no idea what ah. the samples cover uh but i think i'm using the samples from the la- language squad.com i think that they are pretty decent uh so so we can play them um and that's why because they're randomized i have no control over like what language is going going to be next it's just like to mm-hmm. to make it more 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 easy for us to, to to play this game uh i'm using this tool um great so let me just clear the buzzer so you can buzz in any time now language number nine. Човечеството обаче е силно загрижено за опазването на природата и намирането на нови чисти източници на енергия. Знаем за вятърните турбини, за слънчевите батерии, за продължаващите десетилетия опити да Да не. Have to be brave. Let's go with Serbian. Wrong. <laughs> Sorry. Um... No, you cannot uh, you cannot buzz in yet. Oh, sorry. Uh, sorry. Uh, because, sorry. Uh, sorry. The rules are the rules. So the so rules now are... you can listen to this again and Gianluca and, and Ruben you can buzz in whenever you think um that mm-hmm. you know the answer. Доста смела жена. Човечеството обаче е силно загрижено за опазването на природата. Gianluca. Slovenia. Slovenian you said yes nope it's not it's not Slovenian um Ruben do you want to listen to it again or do you want to I uh, uh, can I listen to it again I have like almost my guess but just to be sure I want a 10 seconds uh you want t- 10 seconds okay okay you know five seconds. I just noticed that maybe your camera is a bit uh off maybe if you oh, could, sorry. yeah just to be more in the center yeah great so now we're playing the sample for ruben okay dosta smela jena 
Човечеството обаче е силно загрижено за опазването на природата и намирането на нови чисти източници на енергия. So, do you want to correct your answers now? Like, it's not going to count towards the the final score, but Danny or or Gianluca? Sure, I'll guess first. I mean, I I don't know if you're uh, making us distinguish between SCB. <laughs> I would probably accept all the answers okay, for, so for the purpose SCB. of the game. No, it's yeah. Maybe it's Slovak. I don't know, but I thought I thought I know what that sounds like. Okay, so the the big reveal, Bulgarian. Oh, <laughs> Bulgarian is correct. <laughs> Uh, so that was a tricky one, you know. I, I, I think you can have a second language. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. So it's tricky. It's just a different sample for the language that we already had, which is kind of interesting, right? That it might happen, but just it just like keeps you on your toes. That that you have to really be able to, to tell what language uh, uh, it is. So good. So that's that. That's been fun. Let me clear the the buzzers, and. If you guys ready, let's listen to another language sample. Dosta smela žena. No, this is the same one. Sorry. <laughs> um, I was like Georgian. <laughs> let's, let's Sorry. Listen, focus. Lee Lewis and Griffith Theatre Company kunstiline juht. Ning tan kirjutanud uurimustöö Australia teatri sektori et nilise mitme kesisuse kohta. This is Georgian. You I uh Gianluca he buzzed in first I won't say it so I will wait you will wait okay yeah okay it's one language that I know <laughs> yes so Ruben wait Ruben you 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 uh, did the false start so you're not participating participating in another buzzer round so I'm going to start playing the the language sample and Gianluca and Danny can buzz in whenever they're ready Lee Lewis and Griffith Theatre Company kunstiline juht ning ta on kirjutanud uurimustöö Austraalia teatri sektori etnilise mitme kesisuse kohta. Ta otsustas selle uurimuse kirjutada mõni aasta tagasi peale Ameerika Hendrik. Danny. So I think Gianluca eliminated himself, which was a uh, hint. I think it's Estonian. Correct. <laughs> This is Estonian. Uh, okay, let me add the point to the list. Mm. Yeah, so what gave it away to you, Danny? I mean, partly John Luca saying he can't answer, <laughs> mm -hmm. which he shouldn't do. You should just have a poker face mm -hmm. in this game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Poker Don't tell face. us you know it. But second, I mean, it clearly sounds like Fino Estonian. So mm -hmm. then it's just a matter of intuition. <laughs> yes, yes, uh, that's right. And what about you, John Luca? You had no idea at all? No, no, it's what I, I, I understand it right away. But yeah, I should have done poker face. Sorry. Like, oh, oh yeah, I'm. I forgot because. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Wait yeah. a moment, because I I I got, uh, messed. I messed things up. So because Gianluca, you studied this language, right? Yeah. We have to discard this round, so we're not going to count it towards the 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 general uh, score. Um, yeah. But that was a great guess for you. Um, Uh, Danny, <laughs> so so that's good. So we're going to listen to. So wait, when we, yeah, when we don't know the language, we should just ignore and pretend like. Yeah, like what's this? We just don't pass. Okay. If you know that language, if it's uh, if it's your language, you know, you just like pretend you don't you don't know yes. it, uh, and then of course you 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 yes. reveal that at the end and. Mm -hmm. Good. So clear, clear the buzzers, Norbert. Uh, Yeah, I cleared the buzzers now and we can move on to the next one. <clears throat> That's going to be an interesting one, so let's listen. 
چار دن جاری رہنے والے اس شو میں دنیا کی بے شمار ثقافتوں کی نمائندگی ہو رہی ہے اور کمپنیاں ملک میں بننے والی اشیاء کو کی مارکیٹ میں پہنچانے اور پھیلانے کے لیے پر ازم ہیں کراچی کی نورس کمپنی کی نمائندگی کرنے والے وحید ظفر نے یہاں آنے کے بارے میں اپنے خیالات کا اظہار کرتے ہوئے کہا چاول کے برامد کار رز کام انٹرنیشنل کے رضوان رزاق نے بھی اپنے خیالات کا اظہار ہندوستان So we, we can just uh, at least give them, them a chance. You, you, you are... Uh, totally, totally. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, let's do that. Yeah, that's interesting. That's really interesting. Hindustani is Hindi from Suriname, somebody say. Okay, I didn't know. Well. Yeah, so it's... Um, that's it's used to refer to both of the languages, but you can distinguish, like I, could, I was going to guess Urdu, because the vocabulary that they use is different. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, definitely. Urdu basically does a lot more Persianism, Arabism, basically, whereas yep. Hindi has a lot more um, Sanskrit vocabulary. And, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. mm-hmm. Also, the rhythm is different. Yeah, you see, guys, so, so because you both are so knowledgeable uh, about this, I don't really want to hurt anyone of, uh, of you <laughs> uh, in this round. So that's impressive that's impressive but uh we're not going to count it towards the the, the final score um so let's listen to some more languages then um okay let's focus now thời điểm này một năm về trước cả thế giới bắt đầu chứng kiến cơn đại dịch <coughs> ebola bùng phát ngoài sức tưởng tượng nhiều người đã đau đớn khi phải chứng kiến người thân của mình qua đời rồi sau đó bị đưa ngay ra khỏi nhà mà không còn cơ hội nào để vĩnh biệt và chôn cất đó là thực tế xảy ra ở Tây Phi trước lưỡi hái tử thần của dịch bệnh Ebola. Và nay đã một năm kể từ khi người ta phát hiện ca nhiễm bệnh đầu tiên ở Guinea. Okay. Ruben. Wait, so, yeah, I think Ruben. this time for once it's Indonesian. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I cannot. No, not, not Indonesian. So you guys, uh, do you want to listen to it again? Um, and yes. Let's, let's clear the buzzers. Thời điểm này, một năm về trước, cả thế giới bắt đầu chứng kiến cơn đại dịch Ebola bùng phát ngoài sức tưởng tượng. Nhiều người đã đau đớn khi phải chứng kiến người thân của mình qua đời, rồi sau đó bị đưa ngay ra khỏi nhà mà không còn cơ hội nào để vĩnh biệt và chôn cất. Đó là thực tế xảy ra ở Tây Phi trước lưỡi hái tử thần của dịch bệnh Ebola. Và nay đã một năm kể từ khi người ta phát hiện ca nhiễm bệnh đầu tiên ở Guinea. Ước tính có hơn một vạn người đã chết vì virus Ebola. Oh, nobody's buzzing in. <laughs> Let's buzz in uh, Danny then. I think Jean-Luc should take a guess first. 
Okay. Oh. <laughs> I'm totally confused. Like, I have three totally different languages in mind. Um, so tell us wh what languages you have in mind. Kind of a Chinese variety, kind of Korean, and then, I mean, there, it's, I don't know, maybe um, a Bantu language. Um, yeah. So this reason I say it's completely like random. Let's say Cantonese. So. That's not Cantonese. <laughs> so I think we should have a uh, change the game. <laughs> if uh, you know the language, if you speak it, um, and you you know act, and then everyone else gets it wrong, you should get the point. Ah, <laughs> that yeah, that could be for for another 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 uh, episode maybe because you know we have to set the rules before we agree to to play the game. <laughs> Uh, but you're right, you know, like the poker face. Uh, yeah, some people would ha would have scored some good points for their poker faces. The poker face. <laughs> and some, <deserve>. yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah. So by the way, have we said what language it was? It's Vietnamese, which uh, I speak. Vietnamese. Yes, yes. So so we're not going to keep uh, to to count this point to the final uh, score. But uh, Danny, could you tell us what the sample was all about? Uh, it was about like the, the history of Ebola and how it suddenly showed up in Africa and at first they couldn't know what it was and then there was another case in Guinea or something like this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so it was like a, an excerpt from like a scientific article or something like that, basically. Yeah, maybe from the news about Ebola mm -hmm, mm -hmm. showing up in Africa. Uh, okay, good. So um, I, I suppose we just continue playing until we get the... 10 languages that nobody has studied before. Um, good, let's try this one. Let me just clear the buzzers. Yeah, the buzzers are clear. Let's start. Uh, Danny was first. Actually, I think, um, never mind. Imagine I never buzzed, please. <laughs> okay, that's, that's a hint. So listen to it again, guys. Now just Ruben and uh, Gianluca. Uh, first, let me tell you the difference between the two patients. We just said one patient to the four patients. Yes, this is mainly in the neck. For the whole day, I'm going to the Mandarin. Correct. Correct. That's Mandarin. You got the point. I mean, you didn't get the point, though. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't get the point because uh, Danny also uh, speaks and, and studied uh, Mandarin Chinese. Yeah, so it's my main foreign language, even. Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah, I, I was afraid that that might have happened because of the uh, because you are you guys are polyglots uh good so what was this sample about danny you no know, this one i had a harder time following but it's also about disease and there were like they said there were four people who got sick and then said he principally and something but it was like from the middle of a text so it's hard to say i don't know exactly what it's about. Uh -huh, okay okay yes yes in my previous shows that i did like the guest language show i have only three episodes that i was kind of hand picking the samples i was like talking to to the native speakers of those languages and the uh, the messages we, we put there were kind of uh uh written specifically for the show so they're a little bit more uplifting you know but with this ones you know you never know what you're gonna get so so all the native speakers who are listening in to, to this they may you know, suddenly feel down because you know they talk about this this kind of stuff but <laughs> yeah, i think it was about probably about covid he said like four people got sick it was principally in and then something yeah yeah okay so that's that's kind of uh, a bummer but but what to do um i think we can move on to the next round okay that's gonna be interesting Hopefully it's gonna work. So let me clear the buzzers though. Yeah. Een ieder heeft als lid van de gemeenschap recht op maatschappelijke zekerheid. 
Gianluca. Just ignore my buzzing. <laughs> okay, so uh, clear the buzzers and listen to it again. Een ieder heeft als lid van de gemeenschap recht op maatschappelijke zekerheid en heeft er aanspraak op dat door middel van nationale inspanning en internationale. Danny. Um, Dutch. Correct. <laughs> That's Dutch. That's Dutch. What? <laughs> you, don't, you don't score a point, of course, yeah. because we have a Dutch native speaker here. Uh, yeah, and Gianluca. Yeah, I mean, you see, the the poker face thing would really uh, uh, come in handy right now <laughs> because we could like penalize you guys for not keeping the poker faces. Yeah, uh, penalize uh, on... them. <laughs> not this time around. Not this time around. So, so um, Ruben. What was the message? Was it uplifting or was it uh, another like super sad, new, bad news? <laughs> uh, well, Could you translate I that for, just, to us? <laughs> I was I was just focused on not like uh, buzzing because it was my language that I did not even <laughs> listen. <laughs> so you were just holding your head. No, don't pass, don't pass. I, I was just looking at the guys like, what are they doing? So I was just like trying to keep a mm -hmm. composure. Yeah, but I think you, you, you all kind of immediately guessed it, right? Even you, Danny. Um, you knew that okay so we don't go we are not going to to count this one mm, 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 mm. so let's just move on to the next one ah clear the buzzer. buzzer clear the buzzer yeah thanks for reminding me because uh, before we start playing you, you guys always have to have green uh buzzers that means that they are unlocked so let's start matul din is-sena l-industrija tal-manifattura tal-karota ataharta Skont il-bidlit proposti sewwi għalix ċu karotza bil- Gianluca? Maltis? Correct. Damn it! I wanted that one, yeah. Yeah, I would have gotten it maybe in another second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um... So, for for you, Gianluca, I think it was a bit easier to, to guess it, I suppose. Or is it... It's not that obvious. <laughs> I mean, Maltese does a lot of, of, of Italian words inside. Like, I I heard Manifattura, like, on the third second. So, and then it's like something that it does a lot of Italian inside, but it's not a romance at all. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We can go on and you just don't count this point if you want. But I don't know if I was supposed to not. No, I think you haven't studied it, right? No. No, yeah. Danny, what about you? I studied Arabic, so I would have in Italian, <laughs> so I would have gotten it in another second. But I had to like confirm. Yeah, yeah. And look very fast. Ruben, what about your Eurovision experience? Because Malta, well, I, Malta, I you had know, an interview takes part. with uh, with Gaia from uh, Junior Eurovision. She's representing Malta with diamonds in the skies, and I, I was just like, okay, uh, what, what is this language? And she told me. Well, it's basically like an Arabic. They speak a bit like Jamaican people. I don't know why we're speaking this. Uh, it's basically like an Arabic language uh, that is mixed with a little bit of different languages. So I was like, Italian? She said, yeah, some Italian, some French, some uh, a lot of things, she said. I said, yeah, that makes sense because it's like the center of the world, basically. So, yeah, there were a lot mm -hmm. of trading go going on, I guess, in the past. Yeah. Okay, so that's that interview. Uh, people can can watch on your channel. You can watch that on my YouTube. Uh, I have also an interview with Caitlin from Albania. I have an interview that I did today with a girl from Italy, and uh, I wanted an interview with a girl from Greece, but there's no one from Greece in Junior Vision, so that's sad for me because I love Greece. And then uh, I also have an interview with a girl from Ireland, and she spoke some Irish. Yeah, so that you can w watch this all on my channel, Ruben Reacts, which I hope you guys subscribe. <laughs> okay, that, that's good then. So that was Maltese. We're going to count this as, as the, the point. Uh, so let me just quickly calculate how many languages we've covered. One, two. I think something like 12 now. Uh, I mean, the ones that actually count towards the score, we, have, we had nine. So we're going okay. to have one more uh language 
Okay, I'm gonna really focus. Uh, that was go going to be the final one, unless this is one of the, the, the languages that you studied. But let's see, let's clear the buzzers and let's listen. چار دن جاری رہنے والے اس شو میں دنیا کی بے شمار ثقافتوں کی نمائندگی ہو رہی ہے اور کمپنیاں ملک میں بننے والی اشیاء کو کی مارکیٹ میں پہنچانے اور پھیلانے کے لیے پر عزم ہیں کراچی کی نورس کمپنی کی نمائندگی کرنے والے وحید ظفر نے یہاں آنے کے بارے میں اپنے خیالات کا اظہار کرتے ہوئے کہا چاول کے برامد کار رز کام انٹرنیشنل کے رزوان رضا It's Urdu again. So it's this time around, was, before. was it the same? <laughs> no, I don't think it yeah, was the same. Yeah, because it said international at the very end. Or uh, not, not exactly, but... Uh, That's a tricky one. Like what we're going to do? <laughs> you know, yeah. So, Danny, what gave it away to you this time around? You, you didn't ha hesitate as much? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I recognized, like, it is Urdu... I was also, I was trying to get Hindi versus Urdu, and then I was trying to catch a few words that I would either know from like the Arabic world or from true Indic roots. And then I, I heard like Lisbon and some other things, which are definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so uh, so you know, unfortunately, I think that it wouldn't be fair to to Gianluca, you know, to give you the point now, when he gave up his point, uh, in in his That's round true. when he he That's buzzed true. in. <laughs> <laughs> But he didn't guess the right language. Well, let's start it. Mm, yeah, that's the that's the, the, the thing that we had uh, trouble deciding there. So um, I think let's 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 do one more. I'm fine with uh, with only getting the the point. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're fine with, with, with that, but uh, if it makes us if it make if it brings us to a tie, it would be more interesting. <laughs> I, I I don't see that happening uh, at the moment. But let's just do one more round because Yay! you know, Ruben. Um, focus this time because you need to get. I mean, you don't need to get, but uh, but you know, um, yeah. I'm sure you'd like to get at least yeah, one point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So let's clear the buzzer. Let's, let's clear the buzzer and let's l listen to it. حضرت الشيخ محمد جمال عمران هناك تقارير صحفيه اليوم ذكرت ان المركز يعني الذي حضرتك تشرف عليه شيخ محمد Okay here we got Jean Luca Have you studied this language before? Um, I have the basics. And that counts. What that counts. Is Yeah. So, so, uh, uh, Ruben, did you hear his answer? Uh, no, Arabic. Arabic. That's Arabic. Yes. Um. <laughs> But who gets the point? I'm going to. You going? You guys going to Ruben. share this point? <laughs> I get the point. Okay. But I, you, I, I yeah, studied I, this language. You studied this oh. language. Yeah, I have the best poker face this time. No one even noticed. <laughs> yes, okay, nobody gets what, the point. What were they talking? What were they talking about? Was it fun? I just began studying Arabic, actually. Well, for a while now, so but it's hard. To, I oh. understood some words, and, like, and obviously that it's Arabic. Um, mm -hmm. okay. So, I think uh, that that was the final one. We we may do after after I announce the the winner of this uh, this game. <laughs> we can do <laughs> one more do. one one more just to, as a bonus point uh, for whoever is going to get get it. So Very difficult. Yeah. So um, one, two, three, four, five, six. So with the six points, the winner is. Oh no, the winner <laughs> with the six point, the winner is Gianluca. Yay! <laughs> Congratulations. Um, Danny, you had two points also. Applause for you. And Ruben, you, you uh -oh. got half a point <laughs> at the end. So, congratulations, you guys. I'm uh, such a shame. <laughs> <laughs> you, oh, you did your best. You did your best. You did your best. Did so. like, yeah, and in, in the beginning, I was like pressing hard and thinking, okay, guess, guess, guess. And then every time I said Indonesian, I just got like stuck on the Indonesian. I don't know why. It was like an obsession. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. So you may not be be able to, you know, recognize all the languages, but you actually able to talk to uh, all kinds of people on your channel, you know, uh, from uh, yeah. different countries and cultures, and and that's also. Uh, a cool way of interacting, you know, with the exactly. world. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I do. I I focus on Eurovision, so it's more Europe, and then you have, of course, some countries outside a bit, like <coughs> Armenia. But uh, otherwise, yeah, that's that's the the countries I focus on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think that we can do one more uh, uh, bonus round just to see who, who's gonna get it. You can, you guys can can give a chance to Ruben <laughs> for a little yeah. bit, but I don't, don't know. Press the I shouldn't pressure you guys. No, I shouldn't pressure you. No, <laughs> just forget about this because uh, you can just make a couple of. You can make a couple of language still. I, I really enjoy this. Um, if you ha guys have time, I don't know if you have time because we, we are about to finish the show anyways. You know, we, we are about to finish, okay. but I just want to do like this one, and we'll see how it's gonna go. Këtë njëri janë prekse, tha senatoria Hansen Jag. Ajo tha se incidenti tampës ishte pikërisht arsyaj që e shtyu të mere me politik në vitin 2012. 12 vjetë... Mhm, Gjën Luka. Urbanion. Maybe, what about Ruben? I have doubts between Albanian... Uh, or um, uh, or Georgian, one of those two. Or, or Georgian, okay. And what about you, Danny? Don't know, not yet. Okay, so Albanian is correct. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Albanian is correct. So great, Gianluca, you are just winning this game over and over again. That's 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 good uh, for you. And I think that what we're gonna do next uh, the, the italians are always the best in languages it's just not fair there is so many italian polyglots it's just yeah. mind-blowing yeah. <laughs> um but um you know what we can do in, in this bonus rounds whoever is going to buzz in no no it, it wouldn't be fair no no <laughs> uh, i'm going to let you say your final answer but all of you can guess and then i will reveal the answer at the end okay so okay. it's it's we a poker face exercise for me paper. uh which one sorry um, write it down on a piece of paper mm. yeah, then we have all of the three or you can just type it into the chat maybe oh yeah so so you could type it and then you can press the uh, enter when everybody's ready okay let's let's try that one round and see how how it works logistically okay um so you you guys just identify the the window for uh interview chat and mm -hmm. let's listen to it apni to onek khetre nirikha mulok ba fusion dhormi gaan korte pochondo koren to kon kon dhoroner gaane songmishran ghotan apni সেটা কি ধরন থাকে ফিউশনের মধ্যে তো আপনি এই ফোক গান বা বাউল গান সেগুলোর সাথে যে পাশ্চাত্য সঙ্গীতের মিশেলটা ঘটান সেই ক্ষেত্রে কি সব প্রজন্মের শ্রোতারা সেটাকে সমানভাবে গ্রহণ করতে পারেন আপনাকে অনেক ধন্যবাদ বিবিসি এর আয়োজনে সময় দেবার জন্য তার মানে এই যন্ত্র নির্ভর গান হওয়াটা সেটা আসলে এখনকার সময়ের চাহিদাই বলা যায় ওকে গাইস আর ইউ রেডি জাস্ট টাইপ ইট এন্ড দেন ইউ ক্যান প্রেস এন্টার ওয়েন ওয়েন আই টেল ইউ টু ও আই আই ডিড ইট টু ফাস্ট <laughs> okay, I, I remove it. <clears throat> but you you want to um, I guess the, the guest chat, the interview chat. You want to. Ah. Okay. Okay. I have a okay. guess, but I would also listen again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I got the word that I pretty much. Okay. Okay. So so let's try that again. Okay. Uh, uh, let's listen to it again. আপনি তো অনেক ক্ষেত্রে নিরীক্ষামূলক বা ফিউশন ধর্মী গান করতে পছন্দ করেন তো কোন কোন ধরনের গানের সংমিশ্রণ ঘটান আপনি সেটা কি ধরন থাকে ফিউশনের মধ্যে তো আপনি এই ফোক গান বা বাউল গান সেগুলোর সাথে যে পাশ্চাত্য সঙ্গীতের মিশেলটা ঘটান সেই ক্ষেত্রে কি সব প্রজন্মের শ্রোতারা সেটাকে সমানভাবে গ্রহণ করতে পারেন আপনাকে অনেক ধন্যবাদ বিবিসি এর আয়োজনে সময় দেবার জন্য তার মানে এই যন্ত্র নির্ভর গান হওয়াটা সেটা আসলে এখনকার সময়ের চাহিদাই বলা যায়
They have two okay. good options. <laughs> uh huh. So just send them into the chat. Like one, two, three. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's start with Ruben. What's your answer? I said Punjabi. Uh huh. Danny, what's your an answer? Yeah, I guess Punjabi as well. Okay, so I can tell you that that's that's wrong. What about you, Gianluca? It's Bangla, if I got it right. Bangla, which is Bengali, would say. Is exactly. That's correct. <laughs> because there is the word for thanks inside. Like I also didn't know, and in the end they say donobat, which is one of the few words that I know, <laughs> because my neighbors mm. are from Bangladesh. So. Wow. Wow. Okay. So that helps, you know, when you live in a, in a very international uh, community. Uh, good. So we can do one last one uh, before the end of the, uh, the challenge today. Um, did it work? Did it actually work the way that we did it? Like, just remember, don't press enter until I tell you to do it. Like, and, and, uh, once we know that everybody is ready to press the enter, then you press the enter. Okay. In, in the guest chat. Okay. In the guest chat. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Let's let's try this. Zeleni imaju u parlamentu predlog za promenu tog zakona, a ovo samo dokazuje koliko nam je to očajnički potrebno. Je regrutovao bivšeg laborističkog partijskog nacionalnog predsednika Warrena Mandina, koji će predsedavati savetničkim savetom koalicijone vlade za pitanja domorodaca. Gospodin Abot je rekao ABC-u da su nedostaci sa kojima se domoroci suočavaju uzrok pogrešnog sistema. Ok, is everybody ready? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, let's send it. That's fine. That's fine. That's the time. Okay, so let's start with uh, Ruben again. Ruben, what's your answer? <laughs> Georgian. <laughs> it's not Georgian. Uh, Danny, what's your answer? I always have a hard time with these, but I think it's Serbian. And Gianluca? Serbian. And also very clearly Serbian and not Croatian because they say Predsenik, which is... Correct. <laughs> Correct. So you guys got this. It's Serbian. Um, yeah. Yeah, obviously, Gianluca, you, you've been studying this uh, language in, in a way. But uh, that's what happens when when uh, polyglots try to identify languages, yeah. you know. It, oh there's God, just not man. enough samples uh, uh, for them because they just go through them so quickly. Uh, but it's been fun. It's been fun. Uh yeah, I'm impressed with, with your knowledge, uh, guys. It's, it's really uh, amazing. Not, not me. <laughs> <laughs> not I, me. You know, I'm amazed about your uh, enthusiasm, Ruben. That was great. I know. Yeah. Uh, so thank you so much. I think we can uh, finish this stream today. Uh, I will be back uh, streaming next week on Wednesday. Uh, so uh, we will see what, what kind of challenges we're going to have. Jak się bać? Bardzo dobrze, dziękuję. <laughs> dziękuję <laughs> ba dzięki bardzo. So, thank you everybody for watching and participating in, in uh, these language challenges tonight. Uh, and see you around. Um, yes, have a great evening and day wherever you are in the world. Bye. Love you guys, subscribe.